Today, we're gonna chat about my top 20 list of ways that you can hit your protein goals without utilizing animal sources. So stay tuned to find out what made the list. Welcome Superstar, my name's Lauren Valentino and I help women with their nutrition and fitness so that they can thrive in bodies that they're madly in love with. So if you're just tuning in, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like this video and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future training episodes. Today we're gonna chat about 20 ways that you can hit your protein goals outside of utilizing animal sources. Now, in full disclosure, I am not a vegetarian and I'm not a vegan. However, I absolutely believe in balance um, I think that there are so many ways that we can hit our protein goals where we can also increase our micronutrient absorption and exposure. Now, what made my list? All right, let's talk about it. I have absolutely had clients come to me and they don't really want to utilize animal sources for hitting their full daily protein goals. I absolutely understand that. A, from a cooking perspective, and then B, just wanting to be more balanced. I know for myself, I have had times in my life where I've had a, uh, a little bit of an aversion to animal protein. So if that's you, don't feel like anything is wrong with you. I absolutely believe in trusting the way our body leads us. And so if that's how you're feeling or if you're just looking for ways to hit your goals outside of utilizing animal protein, this list is absolutely for you. So we all know how important protein is for our bodies, but I'm just here to remind you again really quick. So protein is vital for every cell in our body. As it regenerates and turns over, it needs protein to regenerate. Our skin needs protein, our hair needs protein, our brains need protein, our bones, our ligaments, our entire structure needs protein. However, you will notice that protein is something that makes our bodies tone. It makes our bodies firm. If you're working out, you absolutely wanna be making sure that you're hitting your protein goals. So as, um, as a female, I think it's vital, super important especially if you are active or trying to live an active lifestyle, if you're trying to change your body composition, I think protein is probably the most important, I guess that's debatable, but I would say it's the most important macronutrient that you can pay attention to. Normally, if you check that box first, everything else kind of falls into place. So let's dive into what made my top 20 list. First, we're gonna chat about um, we're gonna chat about grains and then we'll go into veggies that made the list. So the top one is seton. So seton is, um, so I'm gonna tell you just in case you have dietary issues, okay? I'll give you all the lowdown. So seton is absolutely wheat and it absolutely has gluten. However, it is the top. So I'm gonna go in order of the most protein to the least amount of protein and things that made the list in between, okay? So seton um, has for 100 grams, it has 25 grams of protein. So if you are not allergic to wheat or gluten, absolutely one that you need to take a peek at. Then number two is tempeh. So tempeh, tofu, and edamame. These are all from the soy family. So if you try to avoid soy, this one's not for you. Um, but these are awesome. They taste amazing. You're especially tempeh, love tempeh. It is um, fermented soy beans that are kind of made into, um, they're made into like a bar, like a, like a smashed together pressed soybean bar. <laughs> Um, but you're going to get a lot. It's going to pack quite a bit of punch on the protein level. So you're going to get between 10 and 19 grams of protein um, for each serving of this. So 100 grams of it, and you're going to hit around 10 to 19 grams of protein. Number three is lentils. Love lentils. 18 grams for a, a cooked cup of them. They're loaded in fiber. has about 50% of our daily fiber goals. It has folate, it has uh, manganese, it has iron, lots of antioxidants. Fiber is also wonderful for balancing our hormones. So making sure we hit our fiber goals daily is awesome. Lentils is a great way to do it. Number four is chickpeas. So chickpeas has about 15 grams of protein per cooked cup. Chickpeas will lower your cholesterol. Um, they help balance blood sugar. And that is a lot of the reason that I love them. Plus they taste great. Chickpeas are also what you use to make hummus. So you may be um, getting it in that way as well. Number five is hemp seed. So hemp seed is made of cannabis sativa. 
it normally has about 10 grams of protein per serving. So you can definitely throw hemp into like a smoothie, hemp seed into a smoothie. That's a great way to up your protein levels. You are gonna get magnesium, iron, calcium, zinc, selenium. I mean, the list goes on for my, uh, micronutrients with hemp seed. Definitely one to check out. Spelt is number six on the list. So spelt is considered an ancient grain. It is. It does have wheat and it does have gluten, um, but you're gonna get about 10 grams of protein per cooked cup with spelt. The next one is spirulina. So spirulina, I love spirulina. It is uh, blue-green algae. I love to chase my kids around with it, see if they'll um, eat it. I've been known to possibly bribe them with some money <laughs> on eating spirulina. It is such a awesome, awesome nutritional powerhouse of a food, but it has eight complete grams of protein per serving. Um, loaded in antioxidants, it's known for being anti-inflammatory, it's known to have anti-cancer anti properties to it, boosts our immune system, lowers our blood sugar, and balances out and lowers cholesterol. Very, very good for our cholesterol. So quinoa is definitely um, next on the list, number eight. It is an ancient grain as well, as spelt. We talked about spelt earlier. Quinoa also falls in the ancient grain category. It is gluten-free though. Um, it is definitely normally looked at as more of a carbohydrate source, but it is a awesome boost of protein. One cooked cup is gonna give you between eight and nine grams of protein. So nine on the list is chia seeds. So ground chia seeds or just plain chia seeds. I love to throw them in oatmeal, like overnight oats. It's a great addition to that. Also a great addition to smoothies, but you're gonna get around 13 grams of fiber with chia seeds, which is awesome, so amazing. You're gonna get a, a great dose of omega-3s, calcium, selenium, iron, magnesium, super powerhouse for micronutrients. And then 10 on my list is nut butters. I don't normally put those higher on the list because they have a lot more fats than they do protein, which is fine, but um, those can kind of add up pretty quickly. Um, but it does make the, it does make number 10 on the list. So nut butters would be number 10. You're going to get, depending on the nut butter, you're going to get between five and eight grams of protein per serving. Now I'm going to share with you veggies. So veggies on the, um, the last 10 of the 20. Okay. So I wanted to share with you these because they can be kind of surprising and, but a really awesome way for you to get your protein intake for your day in, get your protein up. So these numbers are based on one cup cooked, okay? So lima beans, and I'm gonna go in order of most protein to least amount of protein. So lima beans are top on the list. Lima beans have 11 and a half grams of protein per cooked cup. That is awesome. So lima beans make the top. Soybean sprouts are next, um, coming in at 9.2 grams. And then um, green peas are right after that. So green peas are eight and a half grams of protein for a cooked cup. Spinach is next at 5.3 grams. Then we go on to sweet corn. I do wanna do a little side note on the corn. So in the US, most of our corn is GMO. So make sure if you're purchasing corn that you can find the little non-GMO sticker on there. I think that's vital, very important. But sweet corn makes um, 4.7 grams of protein. And then we go to asparagus. So asparagus is 4.3. Then artichokes, so a cup of cooked artichokes is four grams. Brussels sprouts, exactly the same. They're at four grams. Then mushrooms, just regular like button mushrooms, 3.9 grams of protein per cooked cup, and then broccoli. So broccoli is 3.7 grams of protein. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any that you absolutely love that you would totally add to this list, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you utilize to up your protein and hit your goals outside of animal sources. If you found value here, make sure to like this video, consider subscribing, share it with your friends, Take care guys, have a great afternoon.